Last month, we discovered the Rome Museum in Munich, St. Andrew. Today, we are in Livera, St. Patrick's, where we've discovered the Museum of Art, and we're here with the owner who will speak to us about these unique pieces. So tell us your name and, and speak to us about the idea of, of this, this. My name is Dolifa Noel from Livera, and this is my art, Museum of Arts. And this is the last piece I made to represent St. Patrick Day. With Maurice Bishop. All right, so you have to speak to us about what's going on on, on that board there. Yeah, what really going on on the board there is what really took place on the foot. Mm -hmm. So point out for us exactly yeah. what it is that you have here. Yeah, well, right now Bishop is handcuffed. The Prime Minister Maurice Bishop is handcuffed, and this is the shoes of most of the students who lost their lives and people, mm -hmm. even the tie and the georgette and so on, even the watch band and even the hat. Mm -hmm. This is most of the people who lost their lives on the foot and thing. Yeah. And what's happening on the bed here? Yeah, this is there is a school skirt, secondary school girl skirt, and even the, most of the shoes that the people who lost their lives something. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they have like a display on this bed. There. So, well, the reason why I made this plane, this plane represent the plane we had here in the Revolution time. There. Noel's Museum of Art also features paintings of influential people in music and politics. Maurice Bishop, I have Bob Marley, Kit Mitchell, Anthony B and Tillman Thomas, Bosin, and Maurice here again, and Bosin here, and this is the Prime Minister Gary, Eric Matthew Gary, yeah, and Maurice Bishop over there again, and this is the long time number plates I have over there, and Obama, and so on. The museum has generated international interests as a team from the University of Illinois School of Public Health paid a visit. Professor Dr. Rohan Jeremiah and his students remain fascinated over this find. I've actually collected a number of his artwork pieces. I brought it back to the U.S. and have them in Chicago and I wanted uh, my students to also have an opportunity to see his work. This is very impressive. I love how he uses materials that are just available to him and the use of color and since we're from the U.S. we don't see anything like this per se and this is really awesome to see. I, I really find it it's really interesting to me the way that he takes the world around him. I mean he has this incredible view of the ocean and he transforms it into this like you know, it's something that's really tactile. He uses the aluminum for the fish and the bird. From Levera in St. Patrick's, I am Eugenia Peters, GBN News.